family. So happy Foodie Friday. If you guys are new here and you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure that you subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. So Foodie Friday, for those of you guys that are new, we come on here with new things that we find that we have never tried and we give you guys our honest opinion on how we like it. Now, remember, everyone's taste buds are different, so something we like, you may not like, and vice versa. So, M wants to start off with these Pringles, the honey mustard. Um, I don't have my glasses on. It says it's 150 calories for about 15 chips. Um, total, I'm looking for sugar. Total sugars added, blah, 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 one gram. And that's all I really see. Um, the sodium is 140 milligrams. So I will show you guys the back in the event that you want to take a screenshot of it and have it so you can look at it. So we're gonna open them up. Now I do like honey mustard, guys, um, but I'm very picky. I like the honey mustard from Arby's and I like Ken's honey mustard that you buy in the store and that's pretty much it. So we'll see. They smell good. They look like a regular Pringle. So here we go. Cheers. You guys want a bite? They're not bad. I don't feel there's a there's not really a strong honey mustard taste. Do you think? But I think a lot of it is you guys. I just ate salad with um. I gotta aim you guys a little bit more towards this way. Um, I just if you guys haven't watched our grocery haul, which I will um put in the info card or whatever um we got a watermelon salad um and this is what it looked like it had feta cheese and seeds but I ended up trying the watermelon vinaigrette because that's what made it a watermelon salad was the actual salad dressing. Um, I didn't care for it. I tasted it on my finger. M actually tasted it in the salad and we ended up adding um, different salad. We didn't care for it. Um, there isn't a lot of ways we like watermelon other than obviously watermelon itself so it's not something I would purchase again um, because I didn't care for the watermelon vinaigrette it kind of tasted like if you guys ever ate warm watermelon or um, watermelon when it's starting to like not be as fresh. That's kind of what it reminded me of taste-wise. I didn't like it. I don't think I would even like mixing watermelon with salad. We got it just to try it because it was just a dressing. But we won't be purchasing that again. These, I'd buy them again. It's just, it's just oh, it's not, good. um... It's not strong. It's just not a strong honey mustard. Um, you get just a very, I feel like you get just a very light taste of the honey mustard. But I'd get them again. They were good. So, there's that. What's the next thing you want to try? Now we're going to try these. Now, M said 
that Wendy's had... What would they call it? They have something similar to that. She for said salads. Wendy's has something similar to this for salads. Um, so we're going to try these anyway. These are ta Taco Bell. 20 crisp are 160 calories. For sodium, there's 400 milligrams. Total sugars, zero. Included or added sugar, zero. So again, there's the back, and then this is what the front looks like, and we got this at Walmart, and we got the Pringles at Walmart. We'll let you know where we got stuff. I think we got most of it at Walmart this time around. So most of you guys have a Walmart near you, because we know Walmarts are everywhere. I think we got everything from Walmart. Okay. Okay. So, everything for this Foodie Friday was purchased at Walmart. Walmart. Okay. So, they do kind of look like what you said, but but they're not Taco Bell at Wendy's. They're, um, I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called. But either. they were giving them to her on the side for a salad. So, this is what they look like. They look like a little tiny taco. They smell good. They smell just like uh, cheddar cheese. Mmm, these are good. You guys, this would taste good. And they are keto friendly. I'm trying to think what it would taste. It would taste good on a salad. It tastes exactly like the ones from Wendy's. I think. You can eat them by themselves. They are very bold. When it says bold cheddar cheese, it's definitely bold. And they're nacho flavor. I think... That these would be good even in soup. They're crunchy. They're like, I don't know how to ex explain the texture. Um, I'm trying to think of something that's close to that. It's not a cracker. Well, it kind of is. What would you say the texture is? It's crispier than a cracker, though. Yeah, it's definitely crispier than a cracker. But it's not as hard as, like, a crouton. But it's that type of consistency in your mouth. So, would I buy these again? I probably wouldn't. Not for the price. These were like $4 and something. Would you buy them again? Yeah, because I think they'll be good in salads. You think they'll be good in salad? Well, we'll let you know how good they taste in salad. Because I'm sure Em will try it. Do you have any of your salad left? Over there. I was going to say you could try it. Well, here. I have a little bit of mine. Taste one with some salad. Here. Because I want to tell them, I can't remember what aisle we found them in. Would they buy the salad, bacon bits and stuff like that? Is it better like that in salad? Mm-hmm. You want to try them like that? Okay, guys. I got to try it in the salad like Em did. They're actually really good in the salad. I didn't really care for it that much by itself. It I was think, too cheesy. I think Wendy's is a little bit tinier, you guys, and that's a little bit less cheesier. But they taste similar. Okay. 
definitely better in a salad. I think it might even be good in a soup, but I'm not sure. But I don't like them by themselves. They're too cheesy. Okay. Now, anybody that knows me knows I love pickles. Um, love, love, love pickles. So I've never tried these. M spotted them. They're the Dill Pickle Sunflower Seeds by Velasic. Now, for one fourth cup, there's 180 calories. There's 200 milligrams of sodium, less than one gram of total sugar, and zero added sugar. So again, there's that for those of you guys that uh, haven't tried them. If we've tried something and you guys have tried it, let us know how you like it. That way others can read and get, you know, your opinion on what you think. Okay. Now, I don't... Have you ever eaten sunflower seeds? I haven't eaten them in a while. Remember, we tried the Taco Bell ones and we okay. didn't like them. So, what I do is I suck on the seed... And get the flavor off. Mmm. I like it. Then you bite. I bite on the side. And then I just get the middle out. Now you guys, I do like these, but... It's not something I'd eat all the time. Yeah, you guys, back a while ago, we did try the Taco Bell ones of them. Them ones were gross. did not like them. Mm -mm. These are good. It's just I don't buy sunflower seeds a lot like that. I wish that the sunflower seed itself tasted like it, not just the shell. Because the sunflower seed itself did not taste like it. No. It's only flavored on the outside. But did you like it? Yes, I did. But I think that it'd be even better if you tasted it on the seed itself. You guys. Do some people eat the actual seed? I don't know. I never have. It says huge seeds double flavored in collaboration with the Velasic Pickle Pros. Says it right there, you guys. And they are good. But like M said, the seed itself inside does not taste like the pickle at all. It's just the outside. Okay, I need a drink. Now, these are crunchy cookie flavored M&M's. We only got a small bag. Um, you guys know that we've been watching what we eat. So we've been trying not to go crazy on um, stuff because we don't eat it all. We literally just try it on here. So try not to be wasteful. So there's 180 calories in this whole bag. There's... 
I think it says, I can't see you guys. Does that say 85 sodium? And we'll read 65 it to you guys. 65 sodium. And then tell them the sugar and the added sugar. There's 20 grams of added sugar and there's 22 grams of sugar total. Do you want me to open them? Go ahead if you want to. And we want to let you guys know. Update. Um, I will probably do a video of an update as well. Um, me and M are really enjoying the hot tub. So it looks like this. Mmm. Them tastes good. Mm-hmm. And that's it inside. I want a couple more. So, me and M have really been enjoying the hot tub. Now, any of you guys go out and get a hot tub? One thing we found out. It goes up to 104 degrees, but if you run it on 104 degrees, you can't stay in it long. So I've been running it on, like tonight me and Em went in and it was 90 degrees the whole time we were in there and we enjoyed it and we stayed in there for about an hour. So, it was definitely worth the money, guys. Okay. This is Kit Kat Duos. How many of you guys have found the Blueberry Kit Kats? Our Walmart has a big display, but there's no Blueberry Kit Kats. We wanted to taste test those for you guys, but they're not in our store. So, I don't know. If they sold out and they just put regular Kit Kats in there or if it's something that's coming out and not here yet. It's it's a big display. It says blueberry muffin muffin Kit Kats new and there's nothing there. So let us know in the comments about that too. This is the Kit Kat Duos Strawberry and Dark Chocolate. And you guys, I already know that this would definitely get me in trouble. I have two favorite candy bars. The first is a Snickers and the second is a Kit Kat. And I already know it would get me in trouble. Okay, so the calories in this is 210. Um, the sodium is 20 milligrams. Total sugars is... 22 and it includes I think that says 19 I'm just gonna have to look you guys I don't have my glasses on 19 grams of added sugar 20 milligrams of sodium and 2 grams of protein you guys all right so there's that if you guys want to take a gander now, let's try it out. Ooh, they already look good. I don't know, though, because I don't, I'm not really a big time, uh, it broke. But there's the front and there's the back. I'm not a big time dark chocolate fan. They smell really good. And they are really good. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> they are. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mmm. You guys, it tastes just like a strawberry covered a chocolate what is it called? Chocolate covered, covered strawberry. strawberry. Geesh, I can't talk tonight. Mmm. I would definitely give that a thumbs up. I would definitely buy that again. But it would get me in trouble. Okay. Next thing. These are Stuffed Puffs Big Bites Filled Marshmallows in the flavor birthday cake. Now, the serving size in this is one piece. 
110 calories, 15 milligrams of sodium, total sugar 16, included sugar 16. So here we go. Let's try one. Oh, they are cute. You want to just split it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it looks like this, guys. It's got jimmies all over it. We got these at Walmart. Oh, there is a hard... birthday cake dough or whatever in the middle so you guys it looks like it looks like this in the middle they would taste good on us for a s'more they are really good it's definitely different mm -hmm. but it's really good And on a s'more, the marshmallow mm -hmm. would melt. This would be so with good. The jimmies. You guys, so good. Even just eating them plain, but would taste really good in a s'mores. Not sure about hot chocolate. Maybe. They're not bad. Okay. Is that it? You Other gotta than pause it and Okay then... guys, I gotta pause because we are going to be trying the pizza ice cream. So I'm gonna pause and be right back. Okay guys, so this is the van. Lewin Pizza French Ice Cream Limited Edition. We wanted to try the mac and cheese. They didn't have it. I even looked again today before we did this video. And they still didn't have it. So, um, they did have wedding cake, blueberry, blueberry honey, honey something, and I believe vanilla. Okay, so I'm going to give M. Do not try it yet. <laughs> you guys, we are so scared because who thinks of this stuff? Pizza? Ice cream? I don't know. Don't try it yet. Wait for me to get mine. You guys, I am so you guys, it looks just like that. I'm scared. We are going to try it. It's so hard. I can only get a little out. So it looks like this. One, two, three, go. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like, it tastes like sauce. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it tastes like sauce in ice cream. <laughs> it reminds me of the dirty socks, you guys, from the Bean Booze Hall. <laughs> No, no. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Would I get that again? Hell to the no. That was nasty. Okay. We also, guys, and this is why we're doing this last, because I was afraid we weren't going to like that. We ended up getting the creamy Reese's peanut butter. We've never tried this. Um, It's... I'll tell you guys after because we need this taste out of our mouth. 
No, you need a different spoon. I've though. got two different okay. spoons over here. Good thing. <laughs> that, that you guys though, that was a bad. That was so bad. If I can open the peanut butter. So like I said, if you guys have tried anything that you see us trying, let us know in the comments how you liked it because that way we can share with others what they think. So this is Reese's peanut butter. Cheers. Really good. Mm hmm Do you think it tastes different than regular peanut butter like Jiffy? A little bit. It's really good. It's really good. I can't tell if it really tastes any different than creamy Skippy or creamy Jeff. But it is good. Um, 190 calories for two tablespoons, sodium 140, sugar, what's this say? There's regular sugar and added. So the total sugar is three grams and then there's two grams of added sugar. So that's that guys. So, we hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that the ice cream wasn't a hit. You guys, it tastes like somebody took pizza sauce and put it into <laughs> vanilla ice cream. That's the only way I can describe it. It Pizza, uh, no, that... That shouldn't even be a flavor for ice cream. Uh-uh. But, as I said, if you guys have tried it and you liked it, let us know down in the comments. Remember, be kind, stay safe, and be blessed. And we hope that you guys have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.